Warning, this video is not meant for the faint of heart. Abuse discretion is advised. Push, push, push. I know this is it's Elliot and Saul. We're back at it again with another video. I just completed. It's a heat wave outside. <laughs> I just completed ten, like a thousand and thirty-two jumps in nine minutes and thirty-something seconds. It's up there. Feeling good. See the weather has. My weight fluctuating from like at least 116 to 111. Um, sorry, 216 to 211. I'm 211 right now. Once again, I'm feeling really good. I just want to talk to y'all real quick. Come take a walk with me. <laughs> Get into the mind. The mind is powerful, y'all. Once again, the mind is powerful, y'all. Once again, the mind is powerful. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. One of my favorite scriptures from the Bible, King James Version. Because it's true. I was, this, between last night and this morning, I was a little out of it. You know, I allow the troubles of time to overwhelm me. But I got into my prayer. And when I was talking to God, I told him, not only do I need you, but I'm communion with you right now to reach you. And if I don't get in communion with you, I'm not going to get up or I'm not going to get up until I get in communion. So I feel your spirit giving me the peace that passive all understanding. What am I trying to say? I just found out that some money, some funds is coming my way which is great. And it's a part of my affirmations. I put out amounts of money that I want to see manifest in my life. And it's funny because once I let it go and I begin to be at peace, now the funds is coming my way. So we got to learn how to be in line with our mind, our spirit, um, our emotions, and our physical to be at rest. I think the Bible mentions between 365 times, 366 times in the Bible, how many times God tells us to rest. So for each day, 365 days, and for 366 days in the leap year, we are told to be at rest. So I'm still working on it. And I'm looking forward to some other great things coming my way. So best thing to do, spend time with him, Learn to be at rest. Live and enjoy your life. All the things that you're stressing over, think about it. You don't want to stress yourself out too much and to the point that you bring sickness on your body, you have a stroke or you have a heart attack, especially because it's so hot outside. You need to be cool as much as you can. And when we at rest, we give God the opportunity to take care of our situations and our concerns, and he will, and his timing. But we have to be at rest. Remember, the mind is a powerful tool. All right, y'all. It's Elliot and Sapu reminding you to ask, believe, and receive. Also reminding you, if you plan it, then it's yours. If you believe you can, then you can do it. If you don't believe you can do anything, you can't do nothing at all. Without God, without faith, we cannot do anything. If you're watching my video for the first time, I need you to do a favor for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be informed when I drop my videos. All right, y'all. Enough talking. Hopefully that inspiration helped you. Helped you. If it did, drop a comment down below. I love to see your appreciation of whatever the messages that God gives me to give to you. And that's about it. It's time to get to this work. Yeah.
back. <laughs> so today was something else. Today was a a very, how can I say it? I was really honing in on my form with with both with all three of the compounds from first the flat incline deadlift. So let's break down the inc the flat first. I realized a couple of days ago that my power comes from when I extend my legs outward, I have better, better balance and I can push the weight up faster and stronger. I feel more in control. Same thing goes with the incline. I have to get into, you know, extending my legs, locking in the knees, balancing on my, on my, on the heels on my feet, make sure my, my um, glutes are tight. And with the deadlift, I was doing deficits today because I was working on the sweet spot because I realized lately I've been doing deadlifts. The reason why I've been struggling with the five plates is because the form was off. I was pulling with my lats and nothing's necessarily wrong with that. But when you start in a deadlift and your chest, your whole chest is over the bar, that can be a problem because what happens is when you while you're coming up, your lead, your knees lock out fat quicker, and you're more pushing with your hips instead of your quadriceps. So I noticed that when I was doing a deficit deadlift, I would, you know, bend the bar, of course, and then take the slack out of the bar. And then from there, I will go down until I feel that that lock-in point, and then I'll just explode off the ground. And I got to keep on working on that so I can get these other numbers up, you know? And that's about it, y'all. I'm sweating. I'm hungry. Ready to get this work. Well, ready to eat, get the work as far as eating. And that's about it, y'all. I'm just continuously learning new things every day. And it's time for me to really focus. Thank God for the strength in his voice that continuously guides me through my exercise. And that's it. This is Elliot Unstoppable reminding you to ask, believe, and receive. Also reminding you, if you plan it, then it's yours. If you believe you can, then you can do it. If you don't believe you can do anything, if you don't believe you can do anything, you can't do nothing at all. Without God, without faith, we can't do anything. If you're watching my video for the first time, I need you to do a favor for me. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop my videos. All right, y'all. Until Wednesday, we're back at it again. Let's get this work. Yeah.